guy. I saw this question and I was like, wow. Welcome to my channel. This is the first time you're tuning in. You're highly welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, I love you so much. Okay. Today we are faced with another math Olympiad question and we are asked to solve for the value of A and B. Okay. Now, this let's call this equation one and this equation two. So if we say equation one minus equation two, one minus two, okay. So it's going to be a squared minus b squared, right? But before that, let me just note, a is not equal to b. That's a condition, and then we are looking for a and b. Let me wipe this so that I have enough to work with. Okay, so I said 1 minus 2. And when we do that, we have um, a squared minus b squared, this minus this, will be equal to b plus 1, 1, 1, okay? minus a plus one 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 okay so this is a squared minus b squared is equal to b plus one 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 now minus times a is minus a okay and minus times one 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 is minus one 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 so plus one 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 minus one 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 will give us zero so we have a squared minus b squared is equal to b minus a. All right, recall the um, algebra identity that a squared minus b squared, difference of two squares, is the same thing as a plus b, bracket a minus b. All right, now let's bring these two to the other side of the equation and equate this to be equal to zero. So if we do that, we are going to have minus a becomes plus a, and my, uh, this is plus b already becomes minus b, all right? Is equal to zero. Now, notice that we have a minus b, a minus b. So let's factor that out. If we should factorize it out, we have a minus b. We open bracket. Now, if this is divided by this, this, you can see this, you are left with only this, right? So you have a plus b. Now, if this is divided by this, you have what? 1. So we have plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, in this situation, we now have two values, right? The first one is that A minus B is equal to 0, okay? But when you solve this, when you solve this, you will notice that your A will be equal to minus b we cross to become plus b. And recall where we are told that a is not equal to b. So this is not, we are not going to accept this. We are going to forget this. Then the second um, equation we are going to have here is that a plus b, a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is the one we'll be working with. So if we do that, let's make A the subject of the formula here. So we are going to have that A is equal to plus B we cross over to become minus B and plus 1 we cross over to become minus 1. So this becomes our uh, A. All right. Now, since we have this as our uh, A, let us call this a very, this is a very good equation. Let's call it equation 3. So any, let's form this particular equation. We have that a squared is equal to b plus 1, uh, 1, 1, 1. I'm going to write our minus b minus 1 squared, right, is equal to b plus 1, 1, 1. Now, this is what um, a, an identity in algebra that states that a minus b squared, okay, is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab, okay? a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. So in this case, our a is minus b, and our b is what? 1. So if we should solve that, we are going to have, remember we have a squared plus b squared minus 2ab, right? So it's going to be a squared, which is minus b squared, right? plus b squared, which is 1 squared, okay, minus 2 times, our a is minus b, okay, and our b is 1, 
All right, that is it. It's going to be equal to b plus one one one. Minus b squared is b squared. One squared is one. Then minus two minus b is what plus two b. That is minus two times minus b will give us plus two b times one is still plus two b is equal to b plus one one one. All right. So we have b squared plus 2b. Now let's collect like terms. So this b, let's, if we cross this equation, it becomes minus b. So we have minus b is equal to, we have 1, 1, 1 here already. 1, 1, 1. Now this one we cross over to become minus 1. All right. So we now have that b squared plus 2b minus b will give you b, right? Is equal to 110. Now notice that we are forming a quadratic equation here, right? So we can now write that um b squared plus b minus 110 is equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation. Now we need two factors of minus 110 that when you add them, you get one. The coefficient of b here is 1. So we need um, factors of 110, minus 110, that when you add them, you get 1. Now, 110, the factors are, when 10 divides this, you have 11. So the factors are 11 and 10. Now, because this is negative and we need 1 when we add them, it's going to be 11 minus 10 to give us positive, right? 1. So it's going to be 11. So we are going to replace b with what? 11b. And minus 10b so that 11b minus 10b will still give us this b in the middle here so we are going to replace that so we have b squared plus 11b minus 10b minus 110 is equal to zero okay all right now let's factorize by grouping permit me to clean this now let's factorize by grouping this and this have b in common, so we bring that b, all right? Now, b squared divided by b, you have only one b remaining, so we write the b. Now, plus 11b divided by this b, you are left with plus 11, plus 11. All right, now, this minus 10b and minus 110, they have minus 10 in common, right? So we factorize the minus 10 out. Now, Minus 10b divided by minus 10, you have what? My, you have only b remaining, so we have b. Then minus 110 divided by minus 10, you are left with only what? Plus 11 is equal to 0. Okay, so we have b plus 11, b plus 11 here. So we pick 1. Then we are going to pick this b minus 10 is equal to 0. So we now have two values for our b. They are that b plus 11 is equal to 0 or b minus 10 is equal to what? 0. So if we solve this side, we have that b is equal to this plus we cross to become minus 11. Then we have b is equal to this minus 10 we cross to become plus 10. So these are the two values of b. b is equal to minus 11 and b is equal to 10. So we need, um, if we call this b1 and we call this b2, we need a1, okay, for this and we need a2 for this. Now recall that we are told that b squared is equal to a plus 1, 1, 1, right? So we have b squared is equal to a plus 1, 1, 1. Now for b1, <clears throat> If we need to get our a1, so it's going to be, remember, let's substitute minus 11. So this is for a1 now. So this minus 11 squared, okay, is equal to a plus 1, 1, 1. Now for this side, it's going to be what? Recall that b squared is equal to a plus 1, 1, 1. So we are going to replace our b with 10 for this side. Or let's write this first to avoid confusion. Okay, so this side B is what? 10. So we have 10 squared is equal to A plus 1, 1, 1. All right. Now let's solve. Minus 11 squared is um, 11 times 11, which is 1, 2, 1. So we have 1, 2, 1 
is equal to a plus and one one one. So to get the value of a here is going to be one two one minus one 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 is equal to what a. So one two one minus one 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 we give us ten. So we have that a. This one is a one, right? That a one is equal to ten. All right. Now let's solve for a two. Let's solve for a two. So our uh, a two here, ten squared is hundred is equal to a plus one one one. Then we have um to get the value of a is going to be hundred minus one 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 is equal to a. Okay. So hundred minus one 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 will give you minus eleven is equal to a. So that means this is a two. Don't worry if this is <laughs> if this is the first time you're coming across this channel. Please subscribe and on your notification bell. Yes, so that I will not miss in my next video. Okay, so on your notification bell so that you'll be notified if I upload a new video. Now I want this not to confuse us. So these are what we got. These are what we got. Permit me to clear because we are going to check the results. We are going to check if we are correct or not. Okay, so let's wipe here and do our check. So we are going to pick our values. Let's drop them at the middle. So A1, B1 is what? 10 and minus 11. So A1, B1 is equal to 10, comma what? Minus 11. All right. Now A2, comma B2 is equal to what? Um... Our A2 is what? Our A2 is minus 11, right? Minus 11, comma, B2 is 10. All right. So this is what we have for A2, B2. And this is what we have for A1, B1. Now let's check. Let's check what we have. So let's substitute this in the first equation that says that A squared is equal to B plus 1, 1, 1. So let's use the first value. So we have our A here is what? 10. 10 squared is equal to our B here is minus 11, right? Plus 1, 1, 1. Now 10 squared is what? 100 is equal to. Now minus 11 plus what? 1, 1, 1 is 1, 1, 1 minus 11, which is also 100. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So this is correct. Now, let's substitute this again into the second one to ensure that we are 100% right. So, if we do that for the second one, for the second one, we have B squared is equal to A plus 1, 1, 1. Okay? So, let's substitute this into this. So, our B here is minus 11. So, we have minus 11 squared is equal to our A here is 10. 10 plus 1, 1, 1. Now, minus 11 squared is the same thing as what? 11 squared, which is 1, 2, 1. So, we have 1, 2, 1 is equal to. Now, 111 plus 10 is 121. So, also, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Okay, we have the second value for our A and B. Please, you can also substitute that into the equation to check our result, but it is correct. Thank you so much for watching. and. Please watch another one. <laughs> All right, bye.